Hey everyone, Kyo here. So Huion has released three 24-inch pen displays in July 2021. Two are using 1440p resolution and one is using 4K UHD. So in this video, I'm going to help you figure out which model you should get. Do you get the 1440p or the 4K model? In this video, I'm going to show you how the user interface elements will look depending on the resolution. By UI elements, I mean things like the menu bars, the text, the tools, the palettes, the icons, how big they are, how easy they are for your eyes to see. And I'm going to be showing you how the UI elements look on both Mac OS and on Windows. You can use the timestamps provided to jump to different sections of this video depending on the OS you are using. First of all, let's take a look at the specifications of the three models that were released. The Canvas 24 and Canvas 24 Plus are the models that are using 1440p resolution. Canvas Pro 24 4K is using 4K UHD and uh, Canvas Pro 24 from last year, from 2020, is using 1440p resolution as well. Let me show you the UI on Mac OS first. So right now I'm running the resolution 4K UHD without any scaling. So the thing with running 4K without any scaling on this 24 inch display is the UI elements are going to be quite small. For me, they are just too small. So I'm not sure about you, but chances are you may want to increase the scaling to increase the size of the UI elements so that's easier for your eyes to see and it's easier for you to click on those tiny little buttons accurately. This file that you see here is actually a 4K resolution file 3840 by 2160. So when I zoom at 100%, it fills up the display perfectly. 4K file on a 4K display. I'm now going to change the scaling to increase the UI elements. So there are five options here. To get more options, you have to press the option key on the keyboard and press here on skill and here you get more scaling options. So the best option here for me is this 1440p scaling option. So straight away you can see this dialog box, the size is now much bigger. So now the scaling has changed to 1440p and the difference in the size for the UI elements, it's very noticeable. The text, the toolbar, the palettes, uh, the icons, all the UI elements are now so much bigger, so much easier for my eyes to see. The 4K sharpness is still there. I don't see any pixelation when working from one arm's length away. So all these UI elements, they are still really sharp, very detailed. There is an issue with 1440p scaling with Mac OS, uh, with Photoshop and Affinity Photo. So when I zoom this file to 100%, you can see this 4K file doesn't fill this 4K resolution pen display. This may or may not be a big deal for you. I mean, even at 100% zoom, this file is still quite big. It can fill up a good portion of the display so the visuals are still very sharp you can definitely work on this uh, without any issues i've just switched the scaling back to 100 percent scaling or no scaling so now when i press command one to zoom to 100 percent you can see this 4k file now fills the whole 4k display but the thing here is um, the ui elements are too small this is 1080p scaling, so the UI elements here are even larger compared to 1440p scaling. And here there are no issues with the zoom, so I can zoom into 100% and this file is able to fill the whole 4K resolution. 
The issue with the zoom is an issue that only happens with Mac OS. It may or may not be a big deal for you. Anyway, uh, the bottom line is if you buy this 4K pen display, you're probably not going to be running this without any scaling. You have to scale it because otherwise the buttons are just too small. So now I'm using Windows and this is 4K resolution without any scaling. So the UI elements, the text, the toolbar, the icons, the palettes, all this are just too small for me. So let me increase the scaling. This is 150% scaling and from what I can see this is the 1440p UI scaling. So the text, the toolbar, the menus, the palettes, they are now just way bigger and easier to see. The UI elements still look really sharp. Pixelation is not noticeable from normal working distance away. Scaling on Windows does not have the same problem with scaling on Mac OS. So here when I zoom into this file at 100%, this 4K resolution file is able to fill up the 4K resolution pen display. So as you can see, even if you buy a 4K pen display, chances are you are going to run this with 1440p scaling. So why buy a 4K pen display in the first place only to run this with 1440p? Well, if you compare this with the 1440p model, even with the user interface elements at the same sizes, um, in theory, all the UI elements on the 4K display will be sharper. As to how much sharper this is compared to the 1440p display, I cannot tell you exactly because I don't have that unit side by side to do a comparison. But um, I would say that you may notice some pixelation, but to me it's not a big deal because in terms of value for money, this is priced at $1,299. The 1440p model is priced at $899, so that's a $400 difference. So I don't mind a little bit of pixelation because I prefer to have the extra $400 in my wallet. And also do note that this particular 4K model does not come with a stand. The stand is built in, but if you want to prop up the pen display like what you see here, so that it's almost vertical, you have to buy an additional stand. You can get the Huion ST100 stand, or you can get a VESA mount. Make sure you get the 10 by 10 centimeters VESA mount. And then you can prop up the pen display like this. With the 1440p models, they have included the stand, so you don't have to spend the extra money to buy the stand. This model uh, comes with this uh, key dial, which you may or may not need. Um, personally, I prefer to use keyboard shortcuts with my keyboard, so this is nice to have, but not having this is not a downside for me. So that's the difference between 1440p versus 4K on a 24-inch pen display on both Windows and Mac OS. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Bye!